Welcome to this video. In this video, you will know what Earn Value Management is. So, what is Earn Value Technique? The Earned Value Technique compares the cumulative value of the budgeted cost or work hours of work performed at the originally allocated budget amount. This comparison is done to both the budgeted cost or work hours of work scheduled and to the actual cost or work hours of work performed. So that's why earned value technique is very useful for cost control and resource management. In the earned value management, you must be familiar with some terms, such as planned value, earned value, and actual cost of work performed. So, what are these terms? Plan value or budgeted cost of work schedule indicates to the estimated budgeted amount for the activities at a certain time of the project. Therefore, you are able to know the amount of money budgeted relative to time. But earned value or budgeted cost of work performed indicates to what the budgeted costs are for the actual work performed to date. To calculate the earned value, simply multiply the percentage of completion by the originally allocated budget. Finally, the actual cost of work performed indicates the actual cost to date. In this slide, these terms will be clarified. On the x-axis, the project time is presented, and the cost is presented on the y-axis. The displayed S-curve presents the cumulative plan value, which is typical of most construction projects. Now, let's assume that you selected this data date for updating your project. You may find that this curve is your earned value, which is the percentage of completion multiplied by the originally allocated budget. But this curve shows the actual cost to date. Here you can find a difference between the earned value and the actual cost. This difference is known as cost variance. This point is the budget at completion based in the originally allocated budget. This blue curve indicates the estimate to complete which ends up with the point indicates the estimate at completion. To measure the efficiency of expenses spent on a project, the cost performance index is calculated, which is the ratio of earned value over actual costs, while scheduled performance index is a ratio of the earned value to the plan value. If the SPI is less than 1, it indicates that the project is potentially behind schedule. But if SPI is greater than 1, then the project is ahead of schedule. Similarly, if the CPI is less than 1, then it indicates that the project is potentially over budget. And if CPI is greater than 1, then the project is under budget. The cost variance and schedule variance tell you whether your project is on budget and on time or not. So, if the CV and the SV values are greater than 0 then you are under budget and ahead of schedule. But if the CV and the SV values are less than zero, then you are over budget and behind schedule. It is important to know that there are many cases for the variances as shown. But this is the best corner as your project is under budget and ahead of schedule. And this is the worst corner as your project is over budget and behind schedule. Reverting back to the EAC, to calculate it there are two assumptions. The first assumption is to assume the rate of progress prevailing to date will continue to prevail until project completion. In this case, you will divide the BAC by the CPI to calculate the EAC. The second assumption is to work from this date forward will progress at the plan rates whether or not these rates have prevailed to date. And in this case, the EAC will be calculated by adding the actual cost on the ETC. Thank you for watching this video. In our next video, a numerical example will be solved applying the earn value technique. If you like this video, please like and share. See you.